In my last video, I showed how we upgraded this cargo trailer with a massive solar power system. In this video, I'm gonna show you its new home, a quick peek on the inside, and how easy it is to back up a whole house in an emergency. So we built out this trailer for a family member, and the main reason we put the system on a trailer in the first place was because they wanted the flexibility of being able to both power their house and be able to take it somewhere else if they needed to. They can bug in or out and always have their power covered. But most of the time, it will just live on the side of their house and they'll use it to store a vintage car. For those who were worried about the weight, when they picked it up a few days ago, they said it towed amazingly awesome. To be able to tie it into their house, we needed to add two things. The first was a power inlet box, which is commonly used for generators. And the second was a breaker interlock, which totally isolates the grid from the secondary power source. we jump inside, we have the 6000 XP, which is a six kilowatt, 240 volt inverter. We have the EG4 wall mount indoor battery, which is a 14.3 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. We have our breaker panel. We have a 20 amp breaker for the outlets on the trailer and a 30 amp 240 volt breaker for the house. Coming in for the roof, we have 2,460 watts of solar and we have a car. And you can guess what kind of car this is. Microwave's working. <laughs> I just pushed it. Blender works. Okay, we're doing the small burner. Let's do it on high. Wow, I'm impressed. Wow. And another thing that I think is pretty cool, if anyone comes over and they have an EV and they need a charge, they can plug right into the trailer. They have their own off-grid EV charging station. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a really fun project to work on and I'm excited with how it turned out. I have a few more solar projects in the works, so stay tuned. See ya.